So have you ever wondered how you green screen a video and you completely remove the background? Do you actually need a quite expensive green screen backdrop? Can you actually do this all within a video editing program like After Effects? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you do that without a green screen. If you don't know who I am yet, what up? My name is Peter from a Broke Vineyard Collective where I help you become a better content creator. Even if you have don't have no budget, no experience, and you wanna just get started. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my other office and show you exactly what it is that you actually need to make sure you have the most crispiest video so you can do this effect without actually having to go through the headache of going things like frame by frame and doing this all within After Effects, which I'll show you after this video was sponsored by the folks over at Envato Elements. Envato Element developers unlimited access to over 55 million assets, such as fonts, photos, and video templates like the one I'm using right now. And if you don't like it, you can also cancel your subscription and you still have accesses to all the licenses that you purchased with all the video assets. Follow the link in the description where I've teamed up with Envato Elements where you can get 50% off when you choose the annual subscription, giving you access to everything, all the stocks, the templates, and the videos for less than $20 a month. So uh, step number one to getting a really good green screen video without using a green screen, aka removing a background, is making sure you set yourself up with a proper video, meaning that there is enough lighting and information where you are distinctly separated from the background, right? Hence why I am wearing black. If I put my hood up, all right, this is gonna make the job even easier once I pop this video into After Effects. So the basic premise of getting a really good green screen video is making sure your subject is contrasting to the background. Whatever background your color is, you wanna make sure you wear completely opposite. So if it's white, I'm gonna wear black. Or even if it's a red, right? Any color that is the complete opposite, just so that it makes it really easy for After Effects, Adobe, to detect that there is contrast, there's difference, and I actually want myself to be cut out. As well as a secondary factor into that is making sure that you have adequate lighting. Because chances are, if I try to, let's say, rotoscope, which I'm gonna show you guys, something like this is gonna be a little bit harder in comparison to if I had much better lighting, front facing, a little bit of a fill light, where I can actually cut myself up and mask myself essentially in video. And the more contrast there is, the more information that I'm giving to After Effects that I can actually cut myself out in post-production. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna take that exact video and I'm gonna use the rotoscope brush and let's jump into that. So now that you just filmed your awesome video, what you wanna do is drag that video clip into After Effects, create your own composition settings, 1080p, 4K, whatever that is, leave it up to 30 seconds in terms of your duration, and then you wanna go into your top left tool menu bar here, and you look for this little paintbrush with the little cute little human next to it, right, that human figure. Click that and double click on the layer, and that is your Broto Brush tool. You can leave everything as is. I don't want to get too complicated into this because it can be its entire video in and of itself. Double click the video layer, and you want to completely outline your subject, right? It doesn't have to be pretty, but accurate enough to where After Effects can tell, oh, okay, you want me to cut out this subject or this portion right here. And then once you have that, After Effects will automatically try its best to detect the edges around that. And if you have any, you know, oopsies or bloops, what you can do is just hold down Alt or Control Command if you're on a Mac to have that red paintbrush. The red paintbrush is essentially telling you to do the opposite. So it's gonna remove anything that you always briefly drawn, where green means that it's gonna outline and cut out whatever that it is gonna do. So once you have your initial outline or mask of your video, 
you just let Adobe After Effects do its thing, way anywhere from depending on the specs of your PC or computer, you want to actually wait, you know, any from three to five minutes. And then once you press play, you'll be able to see the magic of what you just did, which was the roto. You just rotoed yourself in After Effects. Now that you just use that roto brush tool, that whatever that you rotoed or mask is now a layer of its own. And if you're familiar with Photoshop or Premiere, you can now stack this layer and change your background. You can remove your background. You can put yourself somewhere completely different than where you are in this video. You can even have yourself in the corner and uh, on top of an overlay where it essentially is a green screen, but not really. And that guys, that is how you easily remove a background within a video without even using a green screen all within After Effects. If After Effects is way too complicated for you or you don't even have access to After Effects, check out my other video so you can actually have the same effect but in Premiere Pro. If you want to get serious about video editing and content creation or even using your own camera, links in the description below to check out all my resources, including the, my one hour crash course on how to use any camera, all the equipment that I'm using is in the description below, as well as getting that 50% bonus discount so you guys can check out Invato Elements. My name is Peter, you're watching Broke Vision Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers guys.